Hey everyone, welcome back to the next cook. My name is Ryan Phipps. Today, after Dad picked me up from school, we went to our local fish market, Torres Strait Seafood, and picked up this beautiful cold trout. It was caught in the Great Barrier Reef, in the beautiful reef of our, where we live here in Cairns, Australia. And it's absolutely stunning. So today we're going to cook it. I'm going to steam it today, Asian style, with different Asian herbs and different Asian ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to scale it. So do this somewhere where it's not, because you're going to make a mess. So do this somewhere maybe outside where you can wash it off, or just in the kitchen sink. Okay, so I've finished scaling my fish. It takes a little bit of time, so you've got to be patient when scaling it. It takes about, roughly about 10 minutes, honestly. So then, the next preparation process with this fish is we're going to take out all of its waste, all of its guts. So we're going to start around here, about where this bit is, and then we're going to move down all the way to about where its gills are, exposing this area here. So it's not pretty, this stuff is its waste, it's its guts and its intestines, it's its organs. So we're going to remove all of that. That right there is a good representation of how clean the gut should be. You don't want any residue grime or anything like that because that could spoil the meat and ruin the flavour of the fish. So you want it really clean. So now we can get into the cooking. All the preparation is done. Alright, so basically with this fish, what we're going to do, we've got a couple of different flavours around here. We've got garlic, red onion, ginger, spring onion and lemongrass. We're going to just pile it all together, stuff it into where we cleared out the guts, stuff it through, stuff it on the skin all around it and then we're going to steam bath it. So first off, I got some of this beautiful red onion. I'm just going to break it up, I've already sliced it, break it up and then stuff it in. Alright, and then just sort of around, up into the head, all around it. And then, a little bit over the top. Okay, next, I got some garlic. I got some, and then I'm going to slice it up a little bit, get the flavour out, and then I'm going to distribute it through the fish as well. Alright, get some of this garlic around the fish, press it in. And then next, we got some lemongrass. So, to get the flavour out, I'm going to crush it with my knife. That's to really infuse the flavour and let the flavour seep out. So get some of that, chuck it around, up into the head as well, so the head can get that beautiful flavour too, and then just a couple around. And then next, I got some beautiful ginger. So you have two options with this. You can keep it whole and just crush it, or you can strip it and then put it through. Either way, it gives it about the same amount of flavour. I'm going to crush this. There's a lot of crushing going on to get that flavour out. So I got some of that, beautiful. Put it through as well. And then I'm going to have some, even some of these sliced, sliced ones. And then distribute it around. And then next, last but not least, we got some spring onion. Over the top, it gives a beautiful look to it. Really garnishes it, gets that colour going. Okay, and then next, we got our sauces. So, to get the flavour going, I got some fish sauce here. Fish and fish, right? Open it up and then just a little bit around, I'm going to give it a little rubbing, so just like that, and then a little bit on top, beautiful, give it a rub, inside, I'm going to do this step by step with the sauces, then just a little bit of sauce, soy sauce, just like a capsule, not too much, because soy sauce can really overpower the fish, the whole idea with this is we're keeping the flavour of the fish natural, so we can really taste it, it's a beautiful fish, why would we destroy the flavour? and keep the sweetness of the fish in there. Don't overpower it. And then next is some sesame oil, some beautiful sesame oil. Just over the top, stunning sesame oil. Over the top we go, give it a little rub in. Oh, that's stunning, it's gorgeous. And then I got a little bit of salt, just to give it that extra little flavor. Sprinkle of salt over the top, oh, the aroma. Oh, it smells beautiful, it's amazing. Okay, a little bit of sprinkle of salt. The next I got some lemon here. So I'm just going to slice the lemon. This just gives it a beautiful <laughs> acidity. 
So then the couple inside. All right. And then a couple on top. So get that beautiful. <laughs> to get that look going. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek in the way it should look while it's stuffed. All of those beautiful Asian herbs and ingredients are going to infuse into the fish through the meat and it's going to be stuck. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Alright, so I just got another sheet of aluminium foil and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover it up. I'm just going to enclose it with the other sheet on the side here. Let's get to it. That is locked up, locked and loaded. Let's get cooking. I got my little fish thing on here, and my fish, my cold trap, and then I got a tray underneath filled with water. So what I'm gonna do, I got this like this, I'm just placing it on top like that, and that acts as a little steam bar. Make sure it doesn't tip over. And then, chuck it in the oven. Okay, so it's finished cooking now. Just to clarify, it's taken about 45 minutes to cook. You really gotta check it, it really depends on the size of the fish, you gotta be vigilant and continue to check it. So, let's take a look at this beautiful fish. All right, this cold trout. Oh. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of those pieces. By itself first. Oh, it's so good. It's what we were saying before, it's sweet. It's vibrant, the flavors come through, but it's not overpowering. You can still taste the beautiful fish, fish and you can taste that it's so fresh. Okay, so I got my beautiful dipping sauce on there now. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the juices that the fish produce. produce. A little bit of that on top. And then tuck into that. It's honestly so good. Holy moly. This dish, it's perfect. You plonk it in the, in the middle of the table. All of your family comes in and eats it. Thanks, Mum. You have these beautiful sides. Everyone digs in, Asian style, and you have an amazing feast. So thank you, guys. Absolutely beautiful fish. Cold trout, fresh, local from Cairns, Australia. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time.